Two words come to mind when I think of people killing it. Doing amazing things versus the majority of people living lives less fulfilling. Whether it's entrepreneurs building thriving enterprises, guys innovating disruptive technologies, or individuals who develop insane physical abilities to complete things like Ironman triathlons. These crazy people live, sleep, and thrive because of two words. I describe them as crazy because no sane human being would willingly prepare for and participate in a race where you have to swim for 3.9 kilometers and then cycle for 180 kilometers and then run for 42 kilometers. Like, can you imagine cycling for 180 kilometers? Firstly, I get tired just watching rally race cars with impressive speeds driving for 180 kilometers. And secondly, have you seen a bicycle seat? You're on that thing for hours. If you don't win, you got your ass beat in more ways than one. <laughs> it's crazy, right? But these crazy people are able to achieve extraordinary results because they live, they sleep, and they breathe two words. All of us have ambitious ideas and audacious goals, but two words stand between achieve results and unachieved dreams. Repeat after me, game plan, game plan. I don't care who you are or how big or small your dreams are, anyone that has ever taken action to produce stellar results did it because they had a game plan. Think of a guy at a barbecue or at a bri that sees the girl of his dreams for the first time. Now, he can smile and stare at her the whole night, but if he doesn't make an effort to introduce himself, not only will he be perceived as creepy for ogling her the whole time, he will never get any dates or any phone numbers from her. At the same time, if he just rushes in to tell her how beautiful she is and how much he loves her, he will scare her away. And because women are evil, she will go and tell all the girls at the bride and it's game over for him with any girl. Similarly to how the art of wooing women is what the cool urban kids describe as game, which is the perfect combination of charm, personality and flair. In the pursuit of your dream, one ought to have a game plan, which I define as focus, research and strategy. Focus, research, and strategy. The first key aspect about game plan is focus. Now, you can't be that guy that is smiling and staring at all the pretty girls and expect any of them to take you seriously. It's imperative to hone your sights onto one dream because if you're easily distracted, then you won't achieve anything. Shotgun approaches don't apply. Don't start shooting bullets all over the place and expect any of them to land. Be very clear and very specific about what you want because you've got limited time, resources, and money. The second key thing about focus is to pay attention to the task at hand without getting too carried away about daydreaming of the future. You barely know this girl. You haven't even spoken to her. Don't start daydreaming about what your wedding is going to look like, how she is as a wife, how your home is going to look like, whether or not she likes that Nando's Peri Peri sauce because you can't come home after long hours at work and not have any Nando's sauce. No. Pay attention to the task at hand. Great sports coaches and managers know this very well. You don't win today's game by walking onto the field worrying about tomorrow's fixtures. One of my biggest problems was I was a big dreamer and when I thought about my big dreams they were always somewhere in the future. And because my dreams lived somewhere in the future, I never took any steps today. I love how eloquently Will Smith puts it in an interview with Charlie Rose. He said, you don't set out to build a wall. You don't say I am going to build the biggest, baddest, greatest wall that has ever been built. You don't start there. You say, I am going to lay this brick as perfectly as a brick has ever been laid. You do that every single day and soon you will have a wall. Side note, Will Smith is one of the greatest actors of our time and I won't ever share my Nando sauce with you if you think otherwise. <laughs> the second 
critical thing about game plan is research. Now, for all you know, your dream girl could be a thieving, psychopath, witch, or even worse, allergic to chicken. Oof. Research is a game changer. The more you know about your dreams, the better suited you are to achieve them. But firstly, it's imperative to be well researched about yourself. Know your strengths and your weaknesses. If you're a great talker, more than you are good looks and dance moves, then asking her to go to a noisy nightclub should not be part of the game plan. Great sports coaches and managers know how to play key players in positions um, they're best suited in based on their core competencies. Similarly, you know, we thrive in areas that pull out the best of our abilities. Nine times out of ten, people don't execute because what they're attempting to do is far detached from areas of the innate gifting. The second key thing about research that puts us in a position to execute and execute well is to know your target audience. Your dream girl wants you to listen to her. Have you ever been in those wrist-slitting environments where you meet someone for the first time but they just can't stop talking about themselves? You stand there politely nodding but deep down inside you're thinking, I wonder if they'll notice if I fall on the ground and roll away into the bushes. Great salespeople know that you don't make a sale by ranting and raving about a product's features, benefits, and advantages. Great closers look for connections. The more you know about your prospects, the more opportunities you create to make a sale. The same applies for dreams, visions, and women. The more you know, the more opportunities you create that will ultimately lead to connections that will lead to a close. The last key aspect of game plan is strategy. It is what ties focus and research together to produce step-by-step -step actions. Now back at the Briar Barbecue, you discover that your dream girl is not a big fan of red meat. And you might not be Mr. Charisma, but you're a beast when it comes to the kitchen. So you whip up your magic sauce and grill the most succulent chicken breast in the history of succulent chicken breast and you pursue her with a relentless tenacity. Remember, 97% of the people who gave up on their dreams are employed by the 3% that never gave up. You have all the potential in the world. Your vision, dreams and goals are just waiting for you to ask them out on a date. I'm excited. It's gonna be a movie. The question is, do you have focus, research, and strategy? Do you have a game plan?